Well, now you've had the excitement of cutting the ponytail, and that is exciting, especially when you're all finished and you see the smile on that healthy girl being able to help so many people. Because those ponytails know that it takes not only just the hair ponytails from that one little girl, but it takes anywhere from 15 to 30 ponytails once the process is processed in our factory. So when you go look at the wig manufacturing or factory wig manufacturing segment, you'll see what happens to those ponytails. But let's get it packed up and get ready to go because those ponytails are in demand. You know, in our office of Wigs for Kids, we get mailboxes like this two or three a day. And it's wonderful to see them come in and they're all packaged. But let me show you some of them that we're not so happy to see, even though we're so happy in receiving from people. Here's some of the things that happen that are not good. You notice the lack of the security that's on this right now, and it gets all knotted. That is unusable because when the hair has the cuticle on it going in one direction, if that it gets tangled up, it is no longer able to be separated, so it cannot be used. Also, people say, Jeff, why can't we use color processed hair? The reason why is because when we go through the chemical processing to prepare the hair for being tied into a hair piece one hair at a time, that hair that's been chemically treated will fray up and explode and will not lay natural to the natural hair that hasn't been colored. That's the reason why. Anybody that has colored hair, if they donate that, it cannot be used in hair piece manufacturing of quality hair like we're talking about using. The other thing is you don't want to use one of these uh, I call them dental flaws type of, of rubber bands and you don't want to use them because they're almost like should be on braces which they're fine but they snap as they get drier and if they snap again look what's happening it starts to let the hair fray all around. This of course beautiful hair I mean this is beautiful hair except when you measure it it's less than nine inches and because of the fact we take and have to cut off almost an inch to two inches on both ends of the hair then we have to tie it and we have to use a two inch return I know that's a little technical but you'll learn that in the wig process of the factory that we show you but the reality is, is it becomes too short that's why we request at the very best 12 inches but boy when we can get 12 inches, 16 inches, 18 and 19 inches, that'll give a young lady 14 inches or 16 inches of length. And that typically is one of the highest levels of request from us. So the length is very, very important. And then again, when it is packaged, when you'll see I'll package it correctly, you don't want it to be doing this because as soon as it starts doing this, it becomes really impossible to be able to use. But you do want to see it like this. You want to take it as we showed in the cut in. You want to put a strong, tight rubber band, small rubber band, ponytail band that we don't want anybody really using for their own ponytails, but they're really strong. And what actually works really well is a tie. I think you've seen these things where you actually wrap them around, you pull them through the loop, and they lock. They're really wonderful. You lock them, and you can actually cut the end off. But you want to put them very, very strong right where you cut the hair, hair ponytail. You then want to go every two inches so that it secures all those hairs so when we pack them, they are not disrupted. That is so important. It's like a valuable organ being shipped to the hospital. That is how important this is because this hair is the final result of what we do when we give a child a brand new look that they look themselves and live their life with a hair piece. As soon as you're done cutting it, take some tissue paper or newspaper will work just as well and take the hair, lay it across that tissue paper, stretch it out. Of course, you've measured it and you know the length of it at this point. Roll this up nice and snug, that way that you get it all the way down to the end, about halfway through, if you flip in the ends, believe it or not, pretend you're wrapping a Christmas present because this is almost better than a Christmas present for the recipient that gets it. And once you've got that hair nice and secured, bend it in half, and get your Ziploc bag. We should make them a sponsor because we say the Ziploc bag is one of the best because again, it is gonna keep it from becoming wet in any case scenario. If there's snow when you're shipping it and the UPS man or the mailman drops it and it's in just an envelope, it can get wet. If hair gets wet, again, it is unusable because it will pick up a mold and that is against the, the importing uh, laws to be able to put wet hair in any kind of packaging. So it's important that you shampoo, clean, blow dry completely that hair before it gets even cut. And then zip lock it, take the, the air out of it. And really important, 
and really will help us tremendously in the processing of this hair because it takes hours and hours and hours for our team to be able to go through the hair that we get. Put on the front of it how many inches. So in this case, let's say that it's 14 inches. You write that on there. And if you want, you can actually just put it then in a wonderful envelope. Put the Weeks for Kids on it. Be sure that you put the document from the person that has donated their hair with everything filled out. And you can also download from us the little certificate that you can give them in honor of you cutting their ponytail. But we will then send them uh, a wonderful postcard. If you have some pictures, if you have some notes from the, from the hairdresser, if you have some notes from the, 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 the donor, wonderful. We welcome those because we post them every day in our offices and our staff and volunteers love to see what you're doing behind the scenes. But we also share it with the recipients. The recipients are the people that get the wigs, the children that get the wigs, get to hear about what it means to the little girl, little boy that's given their hair. And you know what? It's not always little girls and little boys. We've got some women that are gray hair, that are beautiful gray hair. And yes, we can use gray hair because we can use that in coloring very light blondes and reds and highlights of strawberry that we can't generally get in the population of hair ponytails that we get around the country. So one more time. The most important part is that if you need to braid it, that's great. If you braid it, it helps keep secure. Not a necessity, but it can help. But if you braid it or not braid it, be sure that you put the rubber band very strong on the top and every two inches. There you go, that was right. And be sure that after you do that, you wrap it in tissue paper or you wrap it in newspaper or wrapping paper so that you wrap it up, put it in a plastic bag, Ziploc, then put down the length of it, so important. Uh, and if you have the, of course, donor's information, put it inside, any pictures, as I said, or any kind of notes, and any donations that might be desired to, to send to Wigs for Kids. It'll all be received and, and truly been given thanks for because of what you've done. Listen, the ponytail is so important. To do it right is like a great haircut. It will make the difference from our offices being able to provide more kids, more kids, hundreds and hundreds of kids we provide for every year, but we've got hundreds and thousands of kids that need hair. When you see the statistics of children that need hair, it will bring a tear to your eyes. It does to me and my wife each and every time that we see the new statistics that are out there. Even though our numbers are almost doubling every year, the important part is that we need you to help us really harvest that hair the correct way and also ship it to us the correct way so that we get it in a manner that we can less do administration and get this hair ready and shipped to their factory to be able to do what you'll see in the little player of our factory tour that we take you through on what a hair ponytail goes through to get to a hair piece. Thanks again in advance. You are a precious part of our team. You are one of our partners and we just thank you for being in the salon network of Wigs for Kids family.